now we have the goddamn GM of the show. We didn't have the whole fireworks and the uh, uh, intro into the show this week because uh, the no technical difficulties and stuff. But Ric Flair's in the ring, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just out here to make a quick announcement before WrestleMania, ladies and gentlemen. You've all seen what's been happening between AJ Styles and Baron Corbin. And with the attack that Baron Corbin put on AJ Styles last week, I was set to punish Baron Corbin. But with AJ Styles retaliating in the way that he did, I have something a little bit more balanced and fair for the two. Seeing that AJ Styles and Baron Corbin continuously go back and forth time and time again, one encounter is not enough for the two, clearly. So at WrestleMania this weekend, the match between AJ Styles and Baron Corbin for the WWE Championship will be an Iron Man match. So that the two of them can go back and forth at it as much as they want for 25 whole minutes. So I hope you guys are ready for this WrestleMania. As we have a stacked card that is sure to bury Raw once and for all. Alright, so Iron Man match is going to main event WrestleMania this weekend, ladies and gentlemen. It's lit. And I right, is we got some action. I mean, we got some warm-up matches tonight. We've previously had them for people like Baron Corbin, of course. Chad Gable again coming out here with a singles performance. He's got another singles match after beating Ty Dillinger. Last week, this guy's kind of working his way up the rankings, if I'm completely honest with you. Chad Gable, he's out here doing bits. So he's going to face off against, as you're going to see, the new, the newly crowned Intercontinental Champion, Austin Aries, the greatest man that ever lived, the A-double, whatever you want to call him, the great tactician, Austin Aries. The first double champion of the series, being the Intercontinental and Impact Champion at the same damn time. Austin Aries is going to have a little warm-up as he's ready to face Finn Balor at WrestleMania with that rematch. Oh my, I'm asleep. My man came out with an Impact Championship instead of the Intercontinental Championship. The way my man is holding down Impact Wrestling, even while it's postponed, he's just on it. He's just respect. He's putting respect on Impact's name. Like, don't, don't, don't sleep on it. Impact will be back for Season 2 from... Episode 1, like week 1, we will have Smackdown Live and Impact Wrestling. Don't sleep on it. It's not gone. It's just, I can't get them both out. Like, the way we're rushing right now to get this series out on time for 2K18, if I had Impact to do as well, it wouldn't happen. Just trust me. It just would not happen. There's no chance. It's tight as not enough as it is. That's what she said. But we're doing, we're doing our job, man. We're trying. We're trying. Us Nairies, though. Facing off against Chad Gable in the ring right now. As I mean, Austin Aries is going to be going a little bit light probably because he doesn't want... The last thing you want is to get injured just a few days before WrestleMania. That's just... I mean, we maybe we did him a little dirty giving him such a tough opponent to warm up for... To, to warm up with for WrestleMania because Chad Gable's been on fire recently. I mean... Not in terms of results, but in terms of, uh, of performances. Even in his losses, he's looked really good in singles competition. So Chad Gable, I mean, at least he's staying fresh. Maybe we should have given jo Jason Jordan the match in this week. Because at least uh, while, while they're waiting for their, their rematch clause, they're staying... Well, Chad Gable at least is staying fit. He's staying fresh and ready. That's, that's, that's all you can ask for, really. I mean, you, you, you want to wrestle... That's what he's doing. That's what he's getting. So Chad Gable right now. Trying to bring Austin Aries up to his feet. Austin Aries in, in probably the match of the series uh, this past week. Well, last week uh, at Night of Champions. I mean, so close to WrestleMania. Pulling off match of series. I mean, it's just it's just clutch, isn't it? I mean, I, I would have said we, we would have had match of the series anyway. Because all the best matches in this series has been on SmackDown Live anyway. Or, or if not SmackDown Live on uh, one of our pay-per-views. So, we would have had that in the bag anyway. I mean, it's not like... I mean, we, I was... I, I at least, I don't know about Wolfie. I was planning on uh, doing a video for like... Kind of the Slammies and letting you guys vote on Match of the Series and that. 
Now, like I said, there's probably not enough time. We're probably not going to do that. So, I mean, speaking about it, it's kind of irrelevant as Austin Aries hit. Oh, God damn. Look, he's still levitating. He's just got his right leg just propped up on. Oh, my God. He's going for it already. Austin Aries is ready to put this match away. Close line from Austin Aries and not even taking a second to chill as he just starts stomping on your boy from the... Oh, reversal from Chad Gable though. He's just starts stomping on your boy from American Alpha though. Forearm from Austin Aries as he just drops Chad Gable on the canvas. On the canvas. Back rate from Aries though. And Chad Gable now this time. He's got this signature out of nowhere working on that arm. I mean, let me not even get hyped because... This finisher don't ever put nobody away. I mean, this signature, it don't ever put nobody. Damn, Austin Aries got out of that fast as hell, though. Everyone else, Chad Gable's locked that in. It, yeah, they, they've been in it for a while. They struggled to get out. Austin Aries has not. And Chad Gable has Aries in the perfect position. Oh, I think he went for it as well. The old Connor German. Oh, Connor old German suplex. Missed. Chad Gable continues to fight back by Aries with a big kick to the gut. And he has Chad Gable in position with a neck breaker. And that is not it. Austin Aries pulling out a new last chancery. And this move put Dolph Ziggler away so fast. And it does the same to Chad Gable inside the ring. Austin Aries, that last chancery boy. If that locks in on Finn Balor. He didn't even need last chancery to take the championship away from Finn Balor. If he locks that in on Finn Balor at WrestleMania. I think that's going to be a wrap if I'm completely honest with you. I mean, Chad Gable was in there for a while, but right now, Austin Aries is just looking dang. He's looking dangerous. <laughs> Jesus, that's dangerous. Fine. Play with some safe. This shit right here, dangerous. Austin Aries, though, that last chance re right there. He found a new way to lock it in off of the neck breaker. And Chad Gable tried to hold in there, but eventually, he could not stay in that last chance re. That shit is too dangerous. It's dangerous. Austin Aries, though, looking strong as ever. Finn Balor turning the table. T -t -t there we go, Finn. Turning the tables on Austin Aries. As it's usually been Austin Aries who's coming out to attack Finn Balor. But Finn Balor now is the competitor. Aries is the champion. That puts the bullseye on his back. As Finn Balor comes down to bring the heat on Austin Aries. Finn Balor. Just sent Aries outside the ring. Now he's going to take him back. Is, is Balor leaving? Balor's leaving. Okay, I guess that was enough from Finn Balor. He's done. He's walking out alongside Chad Gable. What's happening? What's happening? Oh, my God. What's happening? Why is Chad Gable still hanging around? I don't understand. This is a fucking clown show right now. Jesus, they're back in the ring now, both of them. Aries has the upper hand on Balor. And a sidewalk slam. To the former Intercontinental Champion, Austin Aries and Finn Balor. Oh, they doing the most. They doing the most. And Aries, Finn Balor fighting back now. Both of the superstars on their feet. Balor sends Aries into the corner. What? Oh, big move on Austin Aries and Finn Balor. Eventually, manages to take out the Intercontinental Champion. While Chad Gable just walked around in circles and looked on. WrestleMania, people. We're going to see this again. And Becky Lynch, the WWE Women's Champion, coming down to the ring after we saw her hold on to her championship at Night of Champions. I mean, in interesting circumstances, it was a little bit, a little bit uh, uh, fortunate, maybe, I guess. I don't know how to put it. I'm going to be quick with this statement and ask her, I don't need you to calm down here. I just need you to listen. What happened at Night of Champions, you held on to any hope of ha facing me again for my championship. So here's what's going to happen. WrestleMania, we're going to go at it again. You've taken me outside and locked in your Asuka lock. And time has expired. With count out has been called. And I'm still in the lock. But I guarantee you there's no way I would have ever tapped out of that move. But we're going to find out for real at Wrestlemania. Because I'm going to give you another shot to show what's up. 
And here at WrestleMania, you are really going to see the real Irish last kick. And you're going to see straight fire. Asuka, you're not getting a rematch because you deserve it. You're not getting a rematch because you earned it. You're getting a rematch because I want to show everybody and yourself once and for all, I am the best woman on this roster. And WrestleMania is the time to show it. Straight to the point there, Becky Lynch. She's giving Asuka a rematch at WrestleMania. I can't see the GM turning it down because she don't have any other opponent. And Asuka certainly won't turn it down. That's another match on the card, baby. Oh my god, I almost missed the entrances. My bad. I'm out here on the phone and shit. I almost missed. We got the main event of the evening. Luke Harper is back. Like I said, we got warm-ups. So AJ Styles needs his. Brian Corbin had his. I had to go backstage. I, I was really concerned. I asked AJ Styles. I said, are you good, bro? I said, I just saw you get lit up literally with electricity. Mars. He was like, you know what? I'm just ready to fuck Baron Corbin. Life up. And I was like, bro, okay, it's like that, big man. All right, well, we'll see you. We'll see you. Put you in action tonight. So the WWE Champion AJ Styles is going to face off against Luke Harper in a little warm-up. And hopefully he can get the job done. I mean, it would be nice to see both of these guys go into their Iron Man match with full momentum. That would be nice to see AJ Styles. WWE Champion, can you believe man is still sick after all these videos? You know what? I'm getting better though. Y'all, you should probably hear it. I'm getting better. I don't feel nearly as bad. But regardless, y'all don't even care. Y'all don't care about me. Y'all don't care about me. Y'all don't care about nothing. Y'all don't care about nothing but yourselves. But AJ Styles, WWE Champion, he's in here in the main event of the evening. Y'all notice these shows be getting a lot, a lot shorter. Like I said, man, we're in a rush. I can't afford to be doing 40 minute videos for each week when we only got a week to record two months. We literally had to record two months of footage in, in a week, basically, in terms of universe mode, two months of footage in a week. So like I said, if I had to do two months of Smackdown Live and Impact footage, oh Lord Jesus, and then do WrestleMania and Bound for Glory, oh Lord, that would have been too much. That would have been way too much. But we had to we had to make sure it would happen. I mean, at this point, I, I, I appreciate you so much if you're even watching this. Because at this point, nobody even watching 2K17. And I understand that. Like, I wouldn't be watching 2K17 anyway. Like, with 2K18 about to come out, I mean, the only reason to watch is because my content is lit. That's the only reason, really. I mean, well, our content is lit. You should be checking out Raw as well. I mean, I ain't really even been promoting Raw too much in my recent weeks of video, but that's just because I I ain't got time to be editing like that, bro. The way I do these videos these past weeks, they, they just been record, quick edit, and get out. Like, uh, that's it. I mean, I've been, a, I've been a bit lazy with it. But, yeah, go ahead and check out Raw. Make sure you are checking that out. And Armageddon, yeah, I said Armageddon is, is going up also. But AJ Styles finding... Luke Harper out on the apron now, and uh, look, AJ Styles, I mean, what do y'all think? AJ Styles look healthy to you? Maybe it was a little bit, maybe it wasn't as bad as it first looked. I mean, you see someone get shoved into an electric box, and you saw the sparks come out of it as well. You see some, that happened to somebody, you're gonna, you're gonna think, wow, this dude, he might not be okay, but... I mean, AJ Styles is a tough dude, and he's a fighting champion, but Luke Harper is not taking it easy on him today. Not taking it easy on him today as Luke Harper throwing AJ Styles around on the outside. <clears throat> I guess Luke Harper not happy with uh, his, his lack of usage since the Elimination Chamber. As he is not taking it easy on the champion. Lord Jesus. Luke Harper out here trying to spoil the build to WrestleMania and shit. He trying to, he trying to injure AJ Styles again as he heads into the match with Baron Corbin. I mean, Baron Corbin... Had history with Bray Wyatt. I mean, I mean, not so much now, but maybe Luke Harper trying to do Baron Corbin a, a, a favor. I don't know. With, with all of their, the, the way their relationships link. Luke Harper, though, is definitely, 
getting the better of AJ Styles at this point. But again, every time I say something, the curse of the commentator comes out. Curse of the commentator, I say one thing and then someone else counters it. AJ Styles trying to send Luke Harper into the corner, but Luke Harper reverses, followed by AJ Styles reversal, which puts Luke Harper in that corner. And AJ Styles hanging him up on the rope. Continuing to just power pressure on Luke Harper now. AJ Styles heading outside and he's calling Luke Harper out to his feet. What's he going for? I mean, we all know what he must be going for, but it's a bit... Oh, maybe not. As AJ Styles, I thought he was going to pull out that phenomenal forearm. That forearm, that's so phenomenal. As there it goes. But Luke Harper up on the shoulders of AJ Styles and there it is. There it is. The fireman carry net breaker. The fireman carry net breaker. We've been waiting. I mean, he was teasing it and he was coming out with some bat breaker. AJ Styles, though, going for the calf crusher. Rolling Luke Harper. Oh, the rope break. Rope break. AJ Styles surely getting ready for that. Oh, uh, forearm or Styles clash, though. Must be coming. Must be nice. Boom, 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 boom. AJ Styles. Oh, reverse by Luke Harper, though. And Luke Harper, what's he getting ready to do? Flipping AJ Styles around. Lord Jesus, Luke Harper's just such a big dude, and you see him, he's just weird. He's my my man. No, nah, wait, no. Nah. My they, they said the, the the Bludgeon Brothers though. They actually put Luke Harper and Eric Rowan back together. I I'm asleep. I can't believe it. I'm actually quite baffed that they actually done that. That they're still trying to make Eric Rowan relevant. You cannot be relevant. As you got kicked in the face though, I had to stop. But you cannot be relevant when your theme song, the name of your theme song. Is Sheep Herder. No, is it Sheep Herder? It's something, it's something crazy like that. I don't, it's, it's, I don't know, man. Like, something to do with farming. Like, that, how can your theme song be called that? And my man has the worst theme song ever. But Luke Harper continuing. If AJ Styles goes into the match with Baron Corbin like this, he might be in for a long night. Because AJ Styles isn't looking 100% right now. I have to say it. I have to be the one to say it. He's not looking himself. And I mean, Luke Harper is good, but he's no Baron Corbin. Especially on the form Baron Corbin is on right now. But AJ Styles is giving it his all. He's fighting back. Obviously, no Ted DiBiase in his corner this week. As Baron Corbin took him out. And Luke Harper back on the shoulders of AJ Styles again for another neck breaker. AJ Styles pulling it out now. We've been waiting for it. And now he wants to pull it out. Elbow drop to the heart of Luke Harper. And a stomp again. Will he be able to pull off that Styles Clash or Phenomenal Forum that he needs to end this match? Because, I mean, he, I think, I, you got to think AJ Styles wants to get this match over and done with as soon as possible. One, two. And Luke Harper is not able to get the pin on your champion. I mean, the crowd are kind of getting behind AJ Styles a little bit more without Ted DiBiase. And, I mean, it makes sense. Because, I mean, the main reason they boo AJ Styles is because of Ted, I think, at least. No Ted DiBiase on his corner now. AJ Styles having to do it alone. Which, I mean, he's kind of done. He's kind of, even with Ted DiBiase in his corner, he's been trying to show that he doesn't need him to win a match, per se. Because AJ Styles trying to do it himself as much as possible. We've seen in the past when Ted DiBiase does things like roll a chair into the ring for AJ Styles to use. AJ Styles... Looks at Ted and he refuses to use it. He's like, no, nah, I don't need this. He's like, I don't need this to get the victory. And then proceeds to get the victory. But like I said, the crowd more more happier to get behind AJ Styles without Dibiazi in his corner, it seems. As Luke Harper again going for another pin on the champion too. And a kick out from AJ Styles again. But he is down right now. He's down. Your boy's down. And again, the curse of the commentator as he's up. AJ Styles now telling Luke Harper to get to his damn feeties. Waste no time in picking him up to his feet. And again, second time lucky maybe as he goes for the calf killer. Oh, it's another rope break. Another rope break. That calf killer is just... It's, it's a, it just, he just rolls into the corner every time with it. He just rolls into the corner every time with it. And it's just... It's just... It's just... It leads them into an unfortunate position. It just does. It just does. As Luke Harper again is looking for this discus boot. And if he lands the discus clothesline, which he didn't connect. Oh, AJ Styles got out of the way. He got out of the way and he's going for another calf killer. And again, it's going to be a rope break. It just has to be a rope break. It just has to be. It has to be. You have no ring awareness, AJ Styles. You have none. 
You have none. He's going to wait and it's going to be a Styles Clash this time. Again! Again, another car killer. If it's another... I'm asleep. I'm asleep. I'm asleep. Just hit the Styles Clash! Just hit the Styles Clash, man! What are you doing? He wants that calf killer in. My man's gone for the calf killer time and time again. Just do your finisher. Luke Harper just got himself twisted in that rope, though. Y'all see that? AJ Styles fighting back, though. He's, he's making hard work of Luke Harper right now. And you gotta think it's 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 that attack from Baron Corbin. It's left him. It's left him out of whack. A nice brain bust there and a cover too. For, oh, kick out from Luke Harper. That was a nice brain buster. You thought that might have been enough to put Luke Harper away. But it wasn't. It wasn't though. Luke Harper fighting back. Getting up to his feet. And again, hooking the arms of AJ Styles. As he slams him down on the canvas. And again, back into that corner. Oh my god. If, it, it, all it takes is a finisher. One finisher. Discus clothesline. Styles Clash. He's gone. He's going to... Uh, look. See, I knew that was going to happen. He's going to pop back up to his feet. 2K. Y'all need help. Is he going again? My man, he just reversed your, your signature move. How have you got another one so quick? It don't even make sense. But if he reverses it again, I'm asleep. He doesn't. AJ Styles looks out cold off of that one. Luke Harper not ready to pin. But if he pulls out that discus close now, he's getting ready for it. He's getting ready. He's getting ready. It's going to be a wrap. It's going to be a wrap. Yeah, knee to the gut. Discus close line from Luke Harper. And he's got... I thought he was pinning, pulling him towards the rope. Your WWE champion is going to be pinned. One, two, three. AJ Styles clearly not 100% off of that beating from Baron Corbin. Loses to Luke Harper. But he had chances to win it if he didn't keep going for that goddamn calf killer. He got four rope breaks off of the calf killer. I am as good as sleep. There it goes, though. My oh my, AJ Styles, defeated by Luke Harper, he's got to go into WrestleMania off of the back of a loss, he decided to get into the ring, and I mean, he's clearly not 100%, he's got to go into WrestleMania less than 100% against a murderous looking Baron Corbin, and that's it, the final episode of Smackdown Live for this Series 1, WrestleMania next, followed by the draw. Followed by 2K18, baby.